you might have seen a crane lifting heavy load on a construction site. The cranes have a thick metallic rope to which the load is attached. The required diameter of the rope is governed by its elastic limit and the load to be lifted. If the load on metallic rope is increased, then the rope will deform due to increased amount of stress and strain on it. Strength of metallic ropes depends upon the type of material used and its diameter. You might have observed the I-shaped beams used in construction of bridges. Bridges should be designed in such a way that the beams used in them should work as the support system to withstand the load of traffic, the force of winds and their own weight. When a bridge is used for a long time, it loses its elastic properties due to which the amount of strain in the bridge for a given stress becomes large and may ultimately collapse. This is why the bridges are declared unsafe after their long use. Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Related to the video, what we are going to learn today is about Young Modulus. Learning outcomes of this lesson are Number 1. Define Young's Modulus Number 2. Discuss strain energy from force elongation graph Number 3. Discuss strain energy per unit volume from stress strain graph And number 4. Soft problems related to the Young's modulus. First, what is the meaning of Young modulus? Young's modulus, also known as the tensile modulus or elastic modulus. It is a measure of the stiffness of an elastic material. It is also used to characterize materials. Can you imagine that stretching of rubber and copper with the same force? Who has greater of Young modulus? Yes, well done. Because copper is not easily deformed even with great force. In physics, Young modulus is defined as the ratio of the tensile stress to the tensile strain if the proportionality limit has not been exceeded. The table shows the value of Young modulus for various material. Based on the table, I would like to ask you some questions. Number 1. Why steel has the highest value of Young modulus? Steel has the highest value of Young modulus because it does not easily deform when applied to force. Then, question number 2. Why the nylon has the smallest value of Young modulus? Nylon has the smallest value because it is easy to deform or change shape when a force is applied on it. Our next lesson is about strain energy from force elongation graph. The total work done in stretching a wire is representing by the graph. From the graph, we know that strain energy is the shaded area under the graph. In the grades of this graph, we will get the formula of strain energy U equals to 1 over 2 Fe. How about stress strain graph? What is represented by area under the graph? Look at the solution carefully. Finally, we will find that the area under the graph is a value of strain energy per volume. Let's check our understanding. What is represented by the area under the force elongation graph? A. Strain energy 
B. Stress energy C. Strain energy per volume Yes, well done. The answer is A. Here are more related questions. Students can try to answer it and submit by Google Classroom. That's all. Thanks for watching.